Hey everyone, welcome to our second episode of eBay Store Review. I'm here today with Barry and we're going to go through the, today uh, through Barry business. We're going to figure out how we can help him. And I first of all want to say thank you very much for you, Barry, for joining us today. How are you today? Very good. Thank you for having me. I greatly appreciate it. Number one, understand the market. Number two, understand the product. So Barry, before we start, before you're going to share your screen, uh, please tell me more about yourself. Story View Sessions is to help you, so feel free to ask anything. Sure. Um, actually, I, I've been with eBay for about 15 years. Um, I really had it sitting dormant for quite some time for the last five or six years. I do sell on Amazon. And then just the beginning of this year, I decided I want my eBay business to come back to the way it used to be. I'm much happier dealing with eBay. Um, it's, it's just a lot simpler, less restrictions as opposed to Amazon. And I don't plan on giving up Amazon, but because of the volume I do, but eBay, I think I'd rather go in that direction and drop shipping is something I need help in. Although I am doing it, but that's where I'd like to go. All right, perfect. So a little bit about which which type of business you're doing today with eBay uh, if you're not yet completely drop shipping? Well, I ship about a third of my products that I have listed. I ship myself. I'm big into vitamins and supplements and some fitness stuff. That's my forte. I do want a retail store. I've been doing that for the past twenty five years, and it's just I have a lot of knowledge. I do have some contacts as well. Uh, I am trying to filter that into my eBay more now um, than I ever did. And I just feel as though eBay, I like eBay's platform and I want to go in that direction with, you know, the fitness stuff, the vitamins, a lot of, but like I said, I want to broaden my horizons. I want to take up more drop shipping. All right. Perfect. So uh, I think the best will be just to move to the second part. You can share your screen. Let's see uh, more details about your business and let's see how you can implement the, the drop shipping into your business. I see you generate $6,000 in sales. You say most of the products here are products you fulfill yourself, right? Yes, and that's, that number, unfortunately, over the last three or four weeks now has considered, it was double that, uh, more than double that, and it's considerably dropped now. So that's why I wanna try to build it up again. Okay, all right. So if you can show me your products a bit, let's see right now uh, how you work, which product you sell from home, you ship yourself, which product are product of dropship. You can also tell me about the supplier you use for the drop shipping right now. Most of the products that I sell on here that I have listed, I should say, are from drop shipping. Okay. Um, a lot of the vitamins like this one, that's what I fulfill myself. These are returns from Amazon, the shoes and the sneakers. The, the vitamins again are my ones that I fulfill myself. So, and, and again, a lot of returns that I get from Amazon I just put them right onto eBay and you know, they'll sell, but not for the same amount of money, but it's better than nothing. Yes, of course, to, to move them, to move on the money, the cash flow. But I have a question about these products because these products are not uh, from the vitamin uh, niche. You sell also different products on Amazon? Yes, Amazon, I my, my big thing on Amazon, clothing and shoes, and there's a collectible uh, ceramic, company that I sell and that is those are clothing and shoes and the collectible ceramic company that I actually physically go out to the stores and, and do retail arbitrage and buy them myself. During this pandemic, I've been doing some online sell, sales or, you know, buying stuff online too. But I sell, especially Christmas time, I sell a little of everything, toys, shoes, clothing, the collectible ceramics, some electronics as well. So I guess you could say I kind of have a general store. Okay, and the clothing is like a, a secondhand product? Active, act, active wear, a lot of active wear for men's and women. Most of the stuff that I sell active wear is for men's and the same with sneakers. Uh, most of the sneakers that I sell is mostly men's. And it's new, uh, brand new or used? Brand new. I don't sell anything used both here on eBay and Amazon. It's all brand new stuff. And how many listings do you have on Amazon? About 700, I would say. And why wouldn't that, that's, you also... That skews. What? Why wouldn't you also upload the same listings to your eBay store? Well, believe it or not, I used to, but I know because of eBay's policies 
they don't want you to it's it's against their terms of service to drop ship from um amazon to ebay and you, you a couple of years ago i actually used to do that but amazon have a amazon on the back end you have a you can use amazon fulfillment service as a fulfillment service so let's say uh, you want to place an order from uh, your amazon uh, fulfillment center you can do it also as external service and as not uh, through the the amazon directly you have the ability to use them only as a fulfillment service the shipping are a bit higher but it's still possible to do it and that's not against the terms of service of ebay no because then the product is not coming with the box with the amazon signs and everything then they ship it as a as, as a neutral fulfillment center and how would i get the listing from amazon to ebay yes yeah, so just... this this you will need to either use a specific a tool that will pull the data or just do it manually you know the same like you upload to amazon i think i would need some type of tool because what if it sells on amazon and then someone on ebay buys it and it's out of stock that's yes. that's so, one of the so, issues yeah well, i will help you to figure it out later we will look okay. at it. but i think this is something you should write down to yourself because you know by the end of the day and like you say it's very simple to sell on ebay and you limits anyway you know when you have a, a let's say a premium store or or a bigger store on ebay you anyway have a, a high amount of listings that you can list these products on amazon already are stocked in their fulfillment service they're already ready to sell you know so it's just waste of 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 traffic basically okay. because the product is already exists so this is one thing I would do if I was you. I would research and find a solution, and I will personally also help you to find. Uh, the I'll take. Right I, I will take. I will take you up on that offer. All right, perfect. So let's talk more about drop shipping. So, which supplier do you use for drop shipping? Wholesale to be. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a wholesaler supplier. I guess uh, uh, prices there are, are not so competitive, right? That's correct. Okay, and how the results so far with them? Um, I you know. It's not good to be blunt can you can you just you know just take random product here from hustle to be and show me how what was the reason you decided to list it to your store perfume uh, uh on wholesale to be they'll give you reports of some of their top selling items uh, I like to see something that's listed on eBay that has sometimes five sales or more within thirty days and I don't always go by that. But I do go by their reports, like this particular item, the perfume spray that you see here, was listed on one of their reports as something that has sold. So I like to try to, to put stuff on that I know that does that has sold, although now I'm looking on here, I don't see anything of sales, but maybe that's another issue I have as well. Okay. Bas no. Basically, overall, the ideal scenario is to see something that has at least five sales in 30 days. Okay, and did you validate this product in Zeek? Um, no, because I recently just signed up for Zeek. Okay. So I haven't had a chance. All the new stuff, yes, I, I will. I actually haven't put anything from wholesale to be. I, I just, I think I signed up last, I think it was last Friday. So but that is my goal though, yes. Okay, let's, let's make, let's validate this product together. So what, okay. I, what I think, what, what I suggest you to do always when you want to list the product to your store is first of all, you know, when you observe the product is to understand what is the searched keywords, what, what keywords people to use to search this product. Now, working with perfume, mostly it's branded product. So I guess people are looking for this specific brand. So I would suggest you to either go and search the whole title on the Zig product research or just look for the two, three keywords that define this specific product. So, for example, 24 Elix, Elixir Ambrosia a Perfume, for example. But let's, let's start from the whole title and then see if we get result. And if not, we can just start remove uh, keywords. You are in the United States on the... Yes, perfect. Yes, I do. All right. All right. I see 24, 25 results. Let's, uh, you can check box and click the Zig selection. Let's see what we get right now. Okay, so first of all, stats. We see that there are 25 listings and only one sell, sold items and it sold for $67. Now I just, when we look on your listing, it was like, what, you try to sell it for $90, $93, right? Something like that. Yeah, this. basically because that, the average price I'm probably paying. I mean, I'm working on a 10 to 20% markup. Okay. With, 
that. And honestly, that's, I know we had a discussion before coming on here. And again, it's because I'm just paying too much right from the get go. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm taking control for a second. Sure. Go ahead. So let's scroll down to see the listings here. Okay. So the first guy here selling for 67 and the rest selling for higher price, I guess they, beside the first one, most of them are getting it from wholesale to be or some similar uh, whole, uh, wholesale drop shipping uh, supplier. And basically this is what you need to do. You need to validate the product one by one. And uh, we talked about it before as well, but what I suggest you to do if you stick to the wholesale drop shipping, I suggest you to, you know, continue, continue uh, look for connections which are outside I would say the, the normal online platforms, you know, the wholesale to be and all these platforms. Yes, you can find products and you can make money. I don't say that not, but with the wholesale drop shipping, the barrier is higher. So when the barrier is higher, when you need to manually go and search for suppliers, when you will find a good supplier, it will be supplier that will give you competitive prices, that will give you unique products. And this is the advantage of wholesale drop shipping. Otherwise we can do retail drop shipping. I actually have a wholesale supplier on, uh, separate from wholesale to be that, that I've already have an account established. I've never used them yet. So, so yeah, but, you can test it. What about the, the, the suppliers that you use for, uh, for your uh, other business? I know, I know one or two of them will drop ship. I don't know all of them. I haven't looked into that yet, but that's one thing I definitely will do. Second option. Okay. Uh, is to, if you don't want, because, you can use Amazon Fulfillment Center. The, the disadvantage is that when you ship it through their third party service, the shipping is a bit more expensive. Not like you just sell it through the FBA. Uh, but uh, uh, there are fulfillment services, Shipbob and many fulfillment services like this that can also, you know, once you find the winning product, instead of you yourself going and shipping the product all the time, you can, you know, you can start yourself and once you find a product that's selling on a weekly or, or a daily base, you can move it to store it in a fulfillment center. How would I handle, because I know on eBay, you're supposed to have the zip code where it's shipping from. With Amazon, I never know where it's going to ship from. How would I handle the zip code that I would put for ship where it's sh shipping from with eBay? Yeah, this is a good question. Look, and, and this is something, you know, a lot of people ask and, there, and the, there is no one answer for it. But one of the main answers is that if you're a big seller, okay, let's look on all the big sellers. They fulfill their products in different fulfillment centers. So you cannot stick to the, uh, to the zip code the policy. This is why they also offer ship from multiple locations. This is why it's also possible to, to put multiple locations in your listings in eBay. Otherwise, if it wasn't allowed, it wasn't there. So eBay, when they check out your account and when they want to see, okay, if this guy is actually holding the products or is, is uh, the owner of the products and not just drop shipping from retail, this is one of the way to validate if you're a drop shipper or not. But they also check if you use any lister which is used with drop shippers or software which connected to your API, which used with retail drop shipping. They also see your listings. They also see your pictures and the description. You know, they check in many levels. One of them is the zip code. But if you are really holding your own products, you know, if this is the product that you bought and you just fulfill them from different fulfillment centers, there is no problem. So there is no issue at all to put multiple location. There are big sellers, you know, huge sellers that's selling on, on uh, eBay and they're, they don't have this, they ship from different locations. So technically it's drop shipping, but it's not because it's physically my product, it's just in another location. Yes, and eBay also said it in their policy. Basically they say that drop shipping, if you, uh, uh, if you bought the product, if you're owning the product, or if you're working with a wholesaler that uh, give you the permission to work with him, and when you ship the product on the product, that there is your, in your information, the seller information on the product, not the information of the retailer, there is no problem. It's, it's allowed, completely allowed. Okay, let's, let's uh, look uh, through, you know what? Let's look another product. I wanna see another example. Let's look to one product that you actually successfully sold. Doesn't matter if it's your product or dropshipping product, because I want to, to maybe give you some perspective uh, 
from this point of view? A lot of stuff that I sold that well, actually this one right here right now has been very popular. It's basically to help build up your immune system. So we're talking about Indole, car, Indole 3, Carbinol, 200 milligram, veg calves, quality, kosher, vegan. Okay, so basically this is a specific combination, right? Yes. This product sold nine times for $16.99. I see you also make some small discounts for buying two. And that's only there, because I only have two left in stock. It was okay. initially set for four. All right, but you, you have the ability to buy more stock if you want? Um, not based upon the, the current market price. No, I'm not, not on this one. So prices changed. Yes, it went down. I mean, this, this was one of the products about a month ago where not that I'm price gouging, but it definitely was making a lot more money than this. And that, and I bought, I bought them at a price about a month ago based upon the current market value. It's since dropped. And this is what I have left in stock. And I'm just try, trying to get rid of inventory at this point. Okay, so let's check out if you can improve your title here. So now what I will do, I will go to the product research and I will check only for the specific keyword of the, that, the, that describe this combination of vitamins. So we get 73 results. I want to just check out maybe with the space we will get more results. No, we get 73 results here. Now, the reason I do it is two things. First, I want to see if you build your title correctly. And if you rank on this, because we get only 73 results on page one, it means the page one even not full because the maximum can be on page one is 100 results. But let's see the demand and let's see the title. Okay, so we are talking here about product with statistics are not wow. I mean, 73 active listings, 19% success rate, 62% sell to rate for quite, it's, it's quite big niche. I mean, it's, it's all this, all the seller that sell this combination. Maybe it's not so big as I thought, but, but it's not a specific product. Now let's scroll down. Okay. So yeah, I see you're the first, you're the first here. So you did, you did the right thing. Your price is, one of the main reasons, even though these are selling a bit lower price, but we have to also, you know, go here to details, see the reason, but overall looks like you build the right title here. Uh, personally, I, I prefer not to add all these commas. And the reason is it just takes space. You maybe can add another keyword, you know? So, so 200 MG, I would, let's say, close the space here because the size, I'm not sure it's something people searching for maybe, but, but from, from my opinion, not so much. They more search for this thing. Then I would remove all these commas and I, can, I, would, I will check if I can add more keywords. Okay. So I always prefer to just clean everything that is not necessary. Okay, and let's go back here to the result. So you're ranking here for on page one. You have the highest amount of sales with this guy here. And let's see, just let's learn from this guy what he's doing here. Why he's selling so expensive. So this guy's selling for $27.97. He's selling maybe, do you recognize what's the difference here? Honestly, that might be a private label. All right. That, that name does not look familiar. And I'm thinking that's either uh, an off-brand name or it's, a pri it, it's probably a private label. Okay. So basically he's selling the same product here from what you see. The size, everything's same, right? He's 102 Veggie cups, how many, how many pills you have there? Um, I think it's 60. All right, this is why he's more expensive. Okay, you have double, basically. He, he double, basically, and this is something, by the way, to someone like you that work with this type of product, this is a great example. Because what you did here, you, you gave them the option to buy two with discount. But what I would do in such situation, because you know, when you look here on the result, there are only 73, only 73 active listings on page one. So imagine you go to a mall, okay? You go inside a mall, you have 73 shops in the mall, and one of the shops is your shop. Now imagine there are two floors. Imagine you had one, you had two shops in this shopping center. 
one in the first floor, one in the second floor. Would you make more money? And let's say the, the rent is free. Would you make more money in sales if you had two shops? Especially if the rent was free, yeah. Yes, so this is exactly the same like here. You yeah. have one listings on page one. Page one is not saturated at all, okay? So what you can do, you can do combinations. You can create another listing, which is exactly the same, but selling pack of two. So basically, basically like this, you, you call it like this, 120 veggie capsules, exactly the same, you do like this, and it's just two bottles. And then what, you will, what will happen, you will have two listings on page one. So people will scroll down on this result, the, the chances that they will buy from you will grow because you cover more, more, uh, more advertising space. So it's a multi-pack basically. Exactly, so you always need to look in, from perspective, okay, the traffic is limited. You know, you don't have as many traffic as possible. So it's how you utilize the traffic, how you get the most out of the traffic. So options number one we have is to, to have a good price, to have an optimized title, right? And to have nice picture, and to hope that eBay will rank our product high and people will uh, like the price and like what they see. Then we, let's say we will get out of 1,000 uh, uh, surges or, or views, we will get, let's say, 10. The second options you have, mainly in such uh, uh, niches like this specific one that, that the first page is not saturated, is to find, I call it a, a walk around, like to find another way to cover more, to get more traffic. And this is to create more listings. Now you cannot create the same listing twice, this is not allowed, but you definitely can create another listings which sell 120 veg cups or even more. So I could just go two bottles and create a listing, go three bottles, create another listing, yes, and so yes. on. Yes, and, and you know, you always need to see, okay, what I'm talking, what, what is the situation? You, you, you don't have to come and, okay, start immediately uh, with uh, so many listings. But you came here, you listed this product, you start to generate sales. Then... Or how, you, how about if I was to take another popular product like zinc, for example, and bundle it, you know, put this product zinc. with zinc together. Let's see the zinc example. Let's, can, you, can you open your zinc product? Let's see the zinc example. Do you have a, you can source as many uh, zinc as you need in terms of inventory? Um, actually, I deal directly with a manufacturer on one of the products. It was one of my biggest sellers about a month ago. I'm just looking to see. And, and now the sales have dropped and so is the price. But because the president in this country had mentioned, this is it right here. He had mentioned about some of the medication that you take. It's always, you need to take zinc with it. And he was mentioning this every day for at least a week to two weeks. And the zinc sales were, as fast as I was putting them up, they were selling. Amazing. At one point, this was one of my most popular products. Okay, but let's check now zinc in general. Let's just take a uh, it from here. And let's just check zinc in general as a niche to understand the potential. And this is what I suggest you to do on all your products, on mainly on your good products. You know, this is one of the, the one things that happen with a lot of people. They come, they list their products, they list products to their store, they start to make sale. And then they say, wow, great, this is good products. I want to go and find more product like this. But actually the, the, the potential is not maximized out of this product because you, most likely, not everyone, now after this call, you're probably going to do it, but, but usually many people, they don't go and research deeply why their product is so successful. What is the, the demand? Uh, what is the potential? Can I get, uh, do I actually uh, use most of the potential of the product and the niche or not? Maybe I'm actually making great sales, but I'm not even close to 20% to of, the, of the potential. You know? I mean, in all honesty, this particular product it should be incorporated in almost everyone's diet on a daily basis. I mean, you get it with the food you eat, but there's no reason why you should not still continue to take this regardless of a, a virus or not. Let's check it out. Let's check the niche. So already 100 results here. This is good for us. Let's, I think we have a lot of money in this niche. Let's see. Yeah. So here it is. In front of our eyes, $143,000 only from page one on eBay. 87% success rate, 9,000% seller. I mean, 
now, after, you know, now after you realize, after we realize this here together, it's worth to invest more time into this type of pro specific product, you know, in terms of listing optimization, in terms of variation, in terms of uh, uh, maybe setting different comp quantities, different companies, because on page one, there is a lot of demand. So if you have only one listing engine, and we're gonna check now if you're, if you're appearing on this page, you, you need to have more than one, definitely. This should be, your goal should be to have on this page two, three listings. Let's try to see if you're here. I think the best we will do is to do control F. Let's see if I can do, yeah. And write your store name. Oh, okay, okay, you can, uh, you can write. Yeah, so you know, you're, yeah, not you on, you're not on this page even. So you make sell, you just, just so you understand, you make great sales and you're not even on this page, just showing you how big is the, the demand. A That's lot it. of the sales that I made was a month ago. Now let's look here and see. So first of all, here about the title, you start now foods, this is keyword, this is, a, a, Keywords you use, you know, to describe, you use to, to uh, uh, make people, you know, like click, not to, it's not a search keywords, people not searching for now foods, zinc, you know what I mean? So you should always start the title with the keywords which people are searching for. And if you have any things, if you have the space and you have any other keywords you want to add like this, okay, you can add in the end. This is number one. Number two, for such a good product already sold 124 lifetime, I wouldn't just give up, say, okay, maybe something happened because based on the stats, no, the demand is still high. You know, we can see the, the demand didn't went down. It's actually, let's look on the graph. It's actually going up here. It's actually, yeah, it's actually going up. Yeah. So the reason it's like this is just because something can be two reasons or, or more competitors come to the market, they push you down. Okay, they take your traffic or in the period of time of the last three weeks, you say three weeks uh, since sales stop. When yeah. you started this product from wholesale to be? No, this is, this is something I buy directly. Yeah, I mean, not I understand. But when, when you started to list products from wholesale to be to your account? Um, January. Okay, how many products you had three weeks ago? How many active listings you had three weeks ago on your store okay, approximately? Probably about 430. And now? 391. So you have less? Yes. Yes, yeah, so, so I tell you what, one of the most important things for our ranking is to have, it's the sell to of the stories, to have more sales than active listings. This is why I asked you maybe, you know, you started only with the vitamins, sales was amazing. You started to list a lot of wholesale to be and slowly, slowly you, you add more, more active listings than sales. So immediately, I mean, not immediately, but with this process, your store ranking is going down because your performance are going down. If they want to see successful seller, they have different ways to measure it. One of the reasons they measure it is by sales compare active listings or sales. And, compare and, and honestly, one of the big reasons why my listings number has gone down is because on wholesale to be a lot of the manufacturers just closed for the, because of the virus. And just as of just yesterday, there were 20 listings I had to take off because the manufacturer just closed their doors until this is over. I see. To be honest with you, you know, we came here to, to talk about uh, drop shipping and you wanted to ask me about drop shipping, but I think what you have here with the vitamins, it's a serious thing. I think it can be scales much higher, you know? I think if you will put your attention and your energy and your focus on scaling these suppliers, which you're already working with, which give you great prices, you can make this eBay store, you can take it, you can, this eBay store can make a lot of money. This product have a lot of demand and you have the unique connection, you know, to get the product in the right price. So maybe in the beginning, it, it just will be a little more a, a work of packing and shipping. But once honestly, you, this, this eBay store that I have, the most success it's had has been when I've been shipping my own products, to be honest with you. The vitamin business that you have here can be scaled dramatically on eBay. This, yeah. this niche on eBay have a lot and you can see only the zinc makes so much sales. So 
all the other vitamins that are not less than this. You know, this product have a lot of demand. It's just about doing it correctly. And also understand it's a process. You know, it's, it's not like drop shipping. You list, you make sales and, you know, here you, you, as I say, the barrier maybe is a bit higher, but once you make it up and running and, and once you start scaling it, it can go to completely different levels. I honestly have the connections for vitamins and supplements. Um, and I've had them for a number of years. I've just never taken advantage of it. So I think you hit, you hit the nail on the head with that. I really yes. did. I, I was looking for an easier way and nothing against drop shipping, but if the, if I got all the stuff for me, I mean, all the stuff right here in front of me between, and some of these are wholesale drop shippers as well that I, that I've already have accounts established with. Perfect. So That's amazing. It's, it, it's, it's right there. It's just a matter of me picking up the phone and ordering. Exactly. So this is exactly, if you ask me my personal opinion, uh, focus on this 100%. Of and now that I have uh, Zeke, I can actually do faster and better research on every product that I decide to bring in, which I didn't have when I started to do this. I was, I was basically working off of it's just popular because Number one, like I told you before, the president had mentioned, you need to take this product with the medication to help against the virus. So that was like free advertising. Yeah. And, um, and the knowledge that I have with a lot of these products as well. Yes, yeah, so like you said, look, let's look on the zinc right now. This product generates for you 124 sales with a very, uh, very not optimized title. Okay, now let's look and see what is the title right now on, uh, what is the title you can build? What are the keywords that people are using here? Let's go back here. And so I also, I also want to show you so you can use it later. So you, so not, step number one, when you see product in your supplier is to go and search for the niche keywords to see the stats, overall demand, how much potential of profit you have in this specific product. Once you come in, you see, okay, demand is high is to understand the prices. You selling this here, for example, for $21.99. It's 250 tablets, right? 50 milligram each tablet. Let's see what are the prices here. Let's scroll down and let's look on the product. So this is, we're talking here about 50 milligram, 100 capsule, 100 cups. How many we, you have? 250. Ah, 250. 250. Okay, you have more yes. than double. Okay, let's look on this 100. Let's look on someone with 250 just to see prices. Okay, this guy here, you don't even say how many he have here. It's 500 milligram, are big. Okay, this one here, 50 milligrams. What you want to do right now? Okay, this is a good example. It's exactly the same company like you. Yes. But he's selling smaller one, smaller, smaller. Bags. And actually, I, was, I still have some of that product that I sell too. That, so that guy, exact product. He sold 371, let's see. He sold 317 in the last 30 days only. So he just listed it also because it's total 371. He sell half of you for 1250. You sell 250, where is this? 250 for 21. So basically you sell with a better price. If the profit here, if the profit you make here is good enough, you know, so you definitely can be can be competitive here with the, with the market. And this is product with huge demand. You know, people are surging for, for, for to have this type of suppliers like you have, they, they, they would do everything to have such a supplier, you know? So you, you just have to focus on it. It's great, great uh, example. So let's just look on the title. Let's get back to the title. By the way, this guy, he did the same thing. Why he, why, why they write now foods? Well, you know what? I've since changed the way I optimize my titles. These titles were done like a month, month and a half ago. I've been doing them now without the manufacturer's names. Um, and that's information that I learned by watching some of your, your weekly shows that you do. So, so now foods I don't, I don't do it anymore. I, and, and I just have to go in and change them. Okay. So now foods is the supplier or the, or the manufacturer. Okay. Yes. Let's see, we can go to, you can either go here to the title analytics or you can open here the title builder and just see, United States 30 days, say zinc. Just see what, are the, what is the, the long tail keywords people are using. So zinc, 50 milligram, 
by the way, look, this is the most selling product. This is the most selling product. This is what people are searching for the most. And in your title, it's here, which is not bad, but I would start with it and add all the rest to the end. And let's look on the item specific. Brand now foods good to add a real brand. Okay, so here, for example, I would add the size, so 50 milligram on the item specific. It's because item specific, it's exactly this. What is the size? What is the material? What is the brand? What is the quantity? Uh, what all these things, you know? So if it's a pill or something else, so all this information need to be here. Okay. So you need to have here the type, you have zinc, very good. You need to have here uh, the uh, quantity, uh, uh, the, I mean, the size of the, of the pill, 50 milligram, 100 milligram, whatever, and, and make and fill everything to the item specific. Okay. Let's look on the description. So here in this title, what you can do, it's always take the same title you use in the listing, but instead of just leave it exactly the same as the listing, add all other keywords you couldn't add because you okay. don't have limit here. Here you can add as many as you want. So you can add a uh, good for the immune system, all these other keywords which you didn't have space. You can also get these keywords from here. Okay. There is, is, it, is it, do you think it's important to put the manufacturer's name in that top of the description there where you were just showing me? Yeah, let's get back to it. Yeah, right up there. Do you think it's yes, like... Yes, yes, why okay. not? I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to, but sure, I'm, this is what it's, item specific, it's item specific. This is exactly what it's made for. I mean, okay. all the specification of the product need to be there. And then eBay, when they, their, their algorithm He's connect the dots through item specific and title search. Okay. But I meant down here in the description, it's okay to have the manufacturer there. No, oh, you don't have, you, no, I mean, use the same title as you made. Okay. The listing so don't use that as one of the key words in the description then. I wouldn't edit only if it's, you know, very like strong name people are searching for. At, at the very beginning they were, because I remember I was using one of these free titled um people products. are searching no but the free the, they were then i don't know if they are now let's let's test it let's test it first of all what i suggest you to do with brand names is to go to google to google keyword planner and check what is the what is the the uh, trend for the for the brand name people are so searching under, you mean google trends not google yeah you can check google trends and you can check also google keyword planner to see the real searches on google for this brand you know if there is yeah. any because maybe people are, I don't know, I, I'm not from this industry, so I don't really know. They're a very popular name in this industry. Their okay. pricing is, is reasonable, but they, they stand out with their bright color orange bottles. All right, so, so I, if, it's, if people are searching for this uh, brand and it's famous brand, I would use it, of course. If it's not, or it's just small brand, no one really know, or I wouldn't use it. It's all about people okay. searching for it or not. Okay. Information here is fine. Yeah, everything else is fine. Then, you know, when you start to focus, you can definitely start organizing uh, your categories because this is the random categories of eBay, I guess. Uh, maybe you create them, I don't know, but you can. Do you think it's important? Because I always like to put a picture in the description of the product. Is that something that's important? It's all right. I mean, one picture is fine. I wouldn't put too much. No, just one picture. Personally, I like to have description simple like you made it, not too much HTML because it's slow down the, the page load. But okay. uh, here it's completely fine. And, okay. and in the categories, I would just, you know, make more. I would also well, I have one down on the bottom for vitamins. And yeah, so it's, on the okay, very bottom. Perfect. Where is vitamins? vitamins right there, right? just below toys. Just below where toys is right there. So here what I would do is because you, you have so many different products is to start create more specific categories, you know, like uh, here you put in vitamins, immune supplements, which is good. Like vitamin C, zinc, vitamin, yeah, vitamin multivitamin. C. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And then you, for SEO, it's good. And also it's good for easier for people to get what they want, you know? Okay. So, all right. So let's see something else here. Yeah, so I think basically, I think from my 
my point of view, I think we've been going through most of the things. Do you have any question, any specific questions? Um, no, actually, I've been asking them as I go along. I like the idea of, I mean, you show me basically how to, to do the title now, but the categories just make specific categories for, for specific vitamins. That's something I want to do. I definitely want to get together with you uh, some other time about the Amazon, you know, shipping from Amazon to the customers, but more listing in that. And I think the big thing that you enlighten me with is to stick to something I really know, like vitamins and supplements. I know that really well, and I do already have contacts, and I'm still going to do wholesale drop shipping, but I think I'm going to put more of my focus, and that's something that you brought to my attention just within the last five or ten minutes, is stick to, stick to what I know best. Yes, yeah, stick to, to what brings you results. You know, one of the biggest problems of everyone, also myself, is that we are usually focusing on 80% of what not important. Because usually- right, and that, You know what? I, I just saw all this. And again, I'm not knocking drop shipping. It's just that I just saw, hey, this sounds easy. Let me try this. But meanwhile, I've got something sitting here that I'm just letting it, I'm not giving its full potential. Yes, exactly. Focus on the 20% that bring you the 80% of result. Okay. All right, perfect. So I'm I'm glad I'm glad it was helpful, and I will uh, we will later on check out about the uh, Amazon fulfillment, and I will keep you posted. And uh, that's it, basically. Thank you very very much for coming here today, and uh, I hope you find it valuable. And we will be in touch in the next Q and A session on the private uh, uh, chat. And that's it. Thank you for having me. I greatly appreciate all the advice you gave me, Nahar. No problem, no problem. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ciao. Take care. Number one, understand the market. Number two, understand the product.